Hey guys, this is Astro, and this video it's all about LED. I've been on adventure of how to diffuse LED lights. For example, I have an LED array plate over here. For example, like this, um, three by six, around eighteen LEDs array over here. Um, what I want to do is to diffuse the light so to make it more like a fluorescent light although it is unlike the EL wires EL wires kind of expensive to get and you need to have a driver while LED to diffuse them you need to have quite a quite thick for the case to diffuse the light and this one um, this one has been filled with the silicon sealant, the clear silicon sealant from Extra Seal. Over here, you can see clear, but it is actually a semi translucent from my point of view. And next, I'm going to try on this acrylic latex sealant, white in color, but I don't have the pressure tool, which is the gun itself. I'm going to buy that out later on so this is the first part of the video hopefully there will be more what else this one I'm going to use this acrylic plate that I cut into the size for the inside here one of them has been sanded up until 1200 grit I think this this is the one Sanded with the 1200 grit, while this one is up to around 360, 360 grit. And for this test, I'm going to use this as well, the 3D printed cover. It, it is printed like this, standing like this. And this surface, I initially tried it. Um, it shows me the the lines over here uneven lines when the LED is turned on while it is closed like that so what I did is to send this thing down up until 120 grit no 1200 grit next last time also I tried to um, to use this uh, candle wax normal candle wax I don't know what kind of wax paraffin soybean I don't know I tried it my initial tests were great it able to diffuse the light perfectly but the LED running warm and the candle wax uh, slowly melted at the bottom at the base of the um, LED plate over here so Without further ado, I'm going to turn this thing on. Try with this, the acrylic plate, and the 3D printed cover. Why I wanted to diffuse the light is because I wanted to make a neon effect. I haven't found any other videos about diffusing the lights of LED except they are mainly used in um, photography and they often use fabric to do so so three two one as you can see from the camera you are unable to see much but from my eyes I'm still able to see the individual LED bits inside there okay this LED are powered with 12 volt wall supply over here this one by using the clear silicon sealant semi translucent what I will call it from the LED it's too bright from the camera sorry the camera is too bright but from my eye I'm still able to see the each one bit of the LED that's being lit up right now and the silicon the silicon inside are still haven't fully cured yet um, it still haven't fully cured yet because it is so thick the thickness is around 10 millimeter 1 centimeter to be precise 
yeah um what's next i'm going to by using this and also this one i'm going to take out the silicon and uh, let the other silicon plate uh, fully cure and i'm going to take it out take it off from the led itself i'm going to change the led to the other one okay this is the brightness of the led itself right now it is too bright i'm i don't want to see to watch directly directly into it because it's too bright yeah too bright so i'm going to use this first the acrylic slab i'm going to use the one with the rough first right now i'm still seeing the every bit of the led but it's still too bright unlike the one used for one used with the silicon sealant and yeah on top of this one is the 100 1020 200 grit 200 grit and i'm going to switch places who knows it might able to oops okay um i need to resolder this thing again apparently i caused some short circuit that was unexpected as you can see there i caused some short circuit between the terminal points and they fuse together from the spark i'm going to resolder them again okay it's still on now we we left off earlier right swapping between the 1200 and the low grade method still the same i'm going to try using this thing the slab here the cover it's pretty nice but i'm seeing some black lines black lines yeah black lines on this um cover yeah i'm, I'm seeing black lines on the cover which is not good for me let's try by let's try combining between this acrylic and the 3d printed cover well obviously doesn't make much any of the differences but i don't know why it has some black lines inside there although i tried to i tried multiple times to send it down with finer grids and then slightly lower grids around 360 grids still the same Ugh, it's too bright still having the black lines which I don't want to have any of those now what if I combine both of these together will it be great of course we'll be seeing the like dots or black lines there well it looked great but still the black lines but the problem is that the color itself are not uniform it's because of the inside the thing i mean the silicon inside if you can see there there are some air bubbles still trapped inside there which is undesirable because i still don't have the gun for this one to push them i use the hammer to push the slab inside there to extrude the silicon inside and i use there i use this metal plate over here to mix them inside so that it is able to cover everything inside there i'm going to wrap up none of this experiment really works except that by using this cover is okay but i don't have any white white filament although i might able to get away with 
painting it white but it's not recommended but yeah maybe I could try with the acrylic paint who knows acrylic acrylic plate fail is a failure silicone sealant um, to me plausible but need to buy the gun so I'm able to extrude it much better I'm, this one by using the glue gun I already shown you in my previous video somewhere in my previous video I'm going to put that link down below if you are going to try with the glue gun which work well but the problem with glue gun is that you need to heat it up and the distribution might not be equal across all of the area so that's why I'm going to try on the silicone sealant although I am considering on having silicon mold um, silicon mold casting but the problem with silicon mold casting is that it is high in viscosity resin low in viscosity but I'm not sure it is opaque or able to let the light passing through inside there it's hard to say with resin none of these experiment work but I'm not going to give it up on my attempt to diffuse the light of the LED to make it more like fluorescent light stay tuned for the next video Ashraf signing out thank you for watching